All right, as you can see here, our ingredients are very simple. We got a, a, a half loin roast here, pork roast, uh, some salt, pepper, garlic, and some Parmesan cheese and some breadcrumbs. We are going to cut this bad boy up into uh, pretty much pork chops, and we're going to bread them and we're going to cook them two different ways. Or are we doing two different ways or one way? Two. We're going to do two ways. We're going to do the oven, and we're also going to do the cast iron. So this is going to be amazing, and my cousin Robert is going to show us how to do this. All right, guys, as you can see, we're just cutting this thing up into. I don't know, three quarter inch, however thick you want. That's really what it is. Uh, usually about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch. Uh, Works good. Maybe that's a little too big, but. Get you a good sharp knife. Cut this all up. Yeah, what kind of knife is this? Oh, I got that at Walmart. It was like 10 bucks. Fine and table. Table. Fine and table. Good knife. You like it? Yeah. I actually like it too. It's 10 bucks. <laughs> and for 10 bucks, you get your money's worth, I'll tell you that, because it stays a good sharp blade. Yeah, so cut these up into, into chops, and strips. And uh, then we'll go on to the next step. This one pork loin roast, I never thought of this. I can't believe it. I never thought of this. Take that and cut it up and you got like chops. It's genius. It's great for breakfast chops too. Yeah, and then you could just, you could like put these up in the freezer. The freezer that's what I do, yeah. And yeah. you can have, you know, maybe you only want one or two at a time. Yeah. Pack them in two, two, two packages at a time. Two packages. Mm -hmm. So feel free to. Gran Granny, show me that. To steal this idea, buy the whole thing, cut it up, save you money, and it's definitely going to be good. What would you say? How much breadcrumb? A cup. A cup of breadcrumb and how much? Uh, a quarter cup to a half a cup of uh, Parmesan. Parmesan. Okay. Just mix it all up in one bowl. Yeah, and you want to be about a tablespoon or maybe a little more of a vegetable oil or canola oil or okay. of olive, olive oil. oil. Okay. Whatever. And then season to taste. Okay. Perfect. So you guys caught that. A cup of breadcrumbs, a quarter cup, half cup of Parmesan cheese. Um, season it to taste with whatever seasons that you you right. like. And then a uh, little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon or so, a teaspoon, would you say? Yeah. Uh, tablespoon. Tablespoon of oil, your favorite oil. Go for it. Just a dash. You guys about oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just a dash. And this is going to be our breading right here. And the next we're going to make our uh, egg wash um, to dip everything. All right, guys, we just got a couple eggs in here, two, three eggs for an egg wash to dip them in, real simple. I know you guys got some eggs. And we had to add a little bit more Parmesan to this and a little bit more oil. Um, so guys, just find the consistency. Uh, it's, it's, it's dry and uh, as you can see, it's about, I don't know, what, 60, 60, 40 mm -hmm. breadcrumbs to, to Parmesan. Okay, so. <coughs> then over here, we got our cast iron heating up. About to put some oil in it. And uh, we're gonna sear these bad boys. We also got the oven at 350. So we can make them in the oven and here on the stove top, um, just to give you guys a couple options, different ways to make this. All right, as you see, you just get your pork chop, put it in the egg batter. Then we're gonna drop it into our dry batter. Make sure you mix it up real good. And then, when that's all said and done, we're gonna throw it right over here in our uh, our baking pan here for the oven. We got the oven set at 350, and uh, we're gonna fill this pan up. Uh, you know, just repeat that process and the egg wash, the dry batter, onto the uh, the roasting pan. And I got the tray inside the roasting pan because you don't want this to cook in its own juices. Then all the breading's gonna come off, and it's just not gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be you know, soggy. Who yeah. wants soggy breading? Nobody wants soggy breading on their their thing. So that's why we got the the insert there, and uh, we're set at 350. We're gonna put them there for what did you say? 20 minutes, maybe? Uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. We'll put them at 30 minutes, and uh, then we'll uh, do the cast iron skillet version. All right, guys, and this is the same method when you do the cast iron skillet. Just put in the egg wash and the dry there, the dry mix. And uh, this uh, cast iron skillet's heated up pretty good. And uh, he's just about to drop it in. Yeah. And uh, what was we talking about the pork? We said they recently... Oh, uh, uh, you can cook the internal temperature at 145. A pork in what? Uh, seafood. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I, I sometimes uh, have my pork... You know, not all the way done, and that's okay. Uh, I've never gotten sick personally, um, but if you are not comfortable with that, cook it all the way. It's uh, your choice. Another thing you got to take in consideration when you're, you're uh, cooking them in a skillet is uh, you want a little bit more breadcrumbs than you do the cheese, so it don't burn or melt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So uh, we might have ran out a little breading, but it'll all work out just fine. All right. All right, just because we're crazy, I went ahead and seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic, a few of those. And I threw them right here on the barrel house smoker. You guys know how much I love this thing. It everything low and slow. 
Also got some wings going. We're having a little little birthday party. Did a little cookout on the Sunday. So, uh, yeah. Got all kinds of good grub going on today. All right. Go ahead. All right. How long have you been on here? About four minutes, maybe three, four yeah, minutes? three, four minutes. Yep. Five at the moment. Yep. Got them over? Those look good. You guys have no idea. That was a little dark, but that's all right. It smells so good in here. It's not even funny. You can see right here where I, I missed the breading. I started running out of breading at the end of it, so make sure we have more breading. Yeah, make sure you have enough breading made up. All right, guys. Look at these pork chops. Look at that. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. That's why I love this barrel house cooker. Those wings and uh, this pork looks amazing. If you don't have a barrel house cooker, I'm gonna put a link down below. You ought to get you one. All right, guys. These are the ones that came out of the oven. They look way better, in my opinion. Yeah. Than the cast iron skillet, but that doesn't mean anything. Looks can be deceiving. Those cast iron ones can be ten times better. Those are the cast iron ones. These are the oven ones. The oven ones look like the way to go. Whoa. <laughs> All right, guys. This is what we got right now. We got uh, the baked version, the uh, barrel house smoker version, some wings. That's the cast iron skillet version. Cannot wait to figure out which one's the best. It's probably going to be this one or this one. I don't know. Who knows? But I'll let you guys know. Um, but if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get notifications every time I post. And uh, you know what? We got a house full of people here. I'm just going to get off here and eat. Guys, so you have a good time and try this recipe because I know it's going to be good. All right, guys. I tried them all. The baked version is the best. It's crispy. It's delicious. The uh, pan, uh, the one we made in the cast iron skillet, it's a little soggy, but it was still really good. Um, the grilled one, it was really good. It was just like a grilled piece of meat. Hands down, though, the baked version was the best. You so you do that, okay? All right, you guys have a good night. We're out. Does anybody want